So this part here proved that the medians of a triangles intersect one another two-thirds distance from the vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side. Now, first of all, we need to understand what's a median. Median is essentially uh, when you draw from a vertex to the other midpoint. Okay, so let's say this is A and B. Um, I'm not sure. Okay, so this is the midpoint here. This is, yeah, uh, midpoint, let's say here. The midpoint here. Okay, so this is the median. The, this line here is the median. Okay, so you, you, you're told to show that the, the median intersects one another at two thirds. So meaning to say you take another median here. Okay, uh, let's say you take another half of this. Or let's say half of this, it doesn't matter. Say here. There's another midpoint here, which is here and here, right? So what, what we want to find, let's say this is M and N, okay? So th they say that this would be uh, two thirds. This is two and this is one. You're, you're told to show that. So that's the, that's the main thing to, to be able to show, okay? Um, so how do you show? Right? Now this is a basic angle kind of question. Um, so in any kind of basic angle, um, I always regurgitate, right? Typically there are two main, uh, two main characters. So you only, essentially you only no, need two vectors to form any, uh, any, any line equations, any kind of equations on this plane, meaning on this paper here, right? So you, first of all, you need to create a triangle, uh, which makes sense. So what's the easiest way to make sense is we make this as zero and this is A and this is B. Okay, I think OAB is the easiest so that you don't need to keep writing uh, A, B, C, B and so on. So you just write uh, let, uh, let points, let O, A and B be the vertices of a triangle. Okay, and O A O B A O B O B B. Now this is the first thing you must understand. Two main characters. We just need this tool to to rule the whole question here. Okay. Uh, you 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 can because you can express using these two vectors here. You can express anything literally anything on this uh on this plane here, this triangle here. Okay, so I'm just going to use this uh, A and B. Then I'm going to slowly break this apart. Okay. So like that. So far so good. Is it okay? So what I'm going to do is actually just say that uh, let points M and N be the midpoints of a, B, and A, O, B, O, B, and A, B, uh, respectively. Okay, so that's, that's how, you just let it be the midpoint. Correct. So we, essentially our goal here is to want to show Actually, from this diagram, you can can tell, right? This is like two. If this is two units, this is one unit. I just by roughly sketching this up. Uh, then this is one unit. This is two units as well. So we we want to show that is uh, two third. Okay. So now e essentially we need to find this intersection point. Right. This is important. You need to find this intersection point. So how do you find the intersection point? Okay, so um, quickly, very quickly, uh, we know that we can actually um, express everything in terms of A and B. So we're going to find the line equation of AM here. Okay, line, line equation of AM. Now, so we know that OM is a midpoint of OB. So this is just half OB. Everything expressed in terms of A and B. Okay, so this is half AB. Then uh, similarly for O uh, for O N O N is the midpoint of um, A to B here. 
So you can just use uh, by ratio theorem, you have OA, this triangle here. Okay, you can just take A here, cross multiply the ratio theorem that we, we, we've learned. So this plus OB over 2. So this is A plus B over 2. Okay, so make sure that you have all the things you need before you even start, right? So now once we're done, I essentially want to find what is E, this point here, this E here. Okay, so the intersections, so uh, let point E be the intersection point of medians uh, AM and ON. Okay, that's it. So th this is this is E here. So we need to find the intersection point. So to find E, what I'm going to do, I'm going to let uh, LAM. I'm going to find LAM. LAM will be R equals to A. Uh, actually, you could just find OA plus lambda AM. Then find line ON, which is R equals to mu. Actually, you can just use O. O, right? So the origin O O but O looks very weird so I'm going to do 0 0 0 plus mu O N okay so with these two line equation I can intersect them and I can actually find what is this point E here my whole goal is find this intersection between these two medians okay important so once done I'm going to just write this as A uh, AM will be M minus A, so this case here will be lambda half B minus uh, A plus B over 2. Then this will be R equals to mu A plus B over 2. Okay, so it's, it's quite okay. So uh, it, to find intersection point, you just equate this two line equation. But before that, I think you can simplify this lambda as uh, minus half a. Okay, then this is half mu a plus b. So to find um, at at point E, we know that L A M equals to L O N. So a plus uh just gonna compare and contrast equals to half mu a plus b okay remember our intersection point is where um when it, in secondary school y1 equals y2 so this is l a m equals to l o n that's about it okay you you show that this is l a m so you just to find Point E, you just equate them. You want to equate them already. What you need to know is uh, this is actually A. Wow, this is A. This is uh, 1 minus half lambda A equals to half mu A plus half mu B. So the mixture, oh, okay. I'll just stop here for a while. I need to check whether there's any discrepancy like mistake so sorry here this is om minus a yeah. i don't know why right this is om minus oa yeah. okay so this is uh yeah then this is correct this part here will just be so you can actually simplify this to Yeah, my line equation was a bit off. I okay, great. Okay, because it couldn't solve just now, so I know something is wrong. So you just let them be equal. Lambda b equals to half mu a. 
Okay. Remember, A and B are two vectors which which are the main... So the mixture of A and B here will be the same. So this, when you compare it, the coefficient will be the same. You compare this, the coefficient will be the same as well. Okay. Uh, so let... So when you compare... Comparing... The coefficients of A and B. Okay, one minus lambda equals a half mu. Half lambda equals to half mu. Oh, so mu equals a lambda. So, wow. Okay, so this is one minus mu, half mu. Three over two. There you go. You see a three over two there. Good job. <laughs> mu equals to two third. Okay, great. Great, 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 great. So OE equals to, uh, can just sub into any one. OE, I think I'll just sub into this one here. OE, OE, sub into any line equation. I think this, 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 this would be the easiest. So just two third. Um, OE, actually the, the main thing is just to find OE first. Uh, so A plus B. So this is A. Eh? Uh, divide by two, so this is uh one third a plus b. Quite promising. I think there's a one third there. So yeah, one third. So this point here, because now we want to show that it's two third, right? Distance from the vertex. So vertex is this point here to the midpoint here with respect to this midpoint. So same thing with this one to this one. Uh. Okay. So, um, yeah, I think it's pretty okay because you just need to show it's two third, uh, uh, two third, it intersect two third distance of the uh, vertex to the midpoint. Yeah. So this intersection point here, we're just going to find um, A to E then a to m a to m already have so a to e we can find right so a to e i'm just gonna shrink this a bit so with this you can find a to e the direction is important here huh? because uh try and find a to e then a to m a to e do you have a a to m yeah we have here this is a to m so a to m is already found so a e is actually just one third a plus b minus two uh minus a okay so this will just be uh negative two third a plus b so you you it, this is a moment of truth uh, so you have to make sure that uh the the coefficients are the same so uh which is quite promising i see a to m is a to m is actually half b minus a so this case here if you factorize the negative uh so so there are a few ways of doing this uh it really depends what do you want to do so this case here i can actually factorize the a out and maybe i shouldn't uh, maybe i factor the total out here this is uh this is minus a plus uh, um, oh this is one third sorry so I, I factorize the two third out this would, because this I never multiply one third in so this would just be half plus half b yeah there you go um, in other words hence uh, a e is equals to from two and one. A is equals to um two third a m. Okay. There you go. You show already. So hence uh a e to a m is actually. Two third 
Okay. So they want two-third, right? They show two-third. So same thing you do with the uh, ON to OE. La. So you have OE and ON. OE is this one. I think the OE to ON is the easiest because we ON is um, this one here. So ON is equals to A plus B over 2. OE is equals to 1 third A plus B. Okay, so from 3 and 4, very quickly, this is this is quite fast. From 3 and 4, we just divide both sides ON over OE is equal to 1 half over 1 third. Okay, so this is just uh, 3 over 2. So ON, OE is just 3 over 2. There you go. So you show already. So you can show that. Uh, so hence shown. So uh, the intersection, the intersect, uh, hence shown. Uh, another two thirds vertex to the midpoint. You already show this is two third here. Okay. So that's about it. Uh. So hence, uh, just write down the medians, medians of triangles. Medians of triangle. Intersect Intersect uh, at two thirds at two thirds the distance the distance from the vertex from the vertex to midpoint of the opposite side. Yeah. So I do it. Um you can also actually show uh maybe if you're not I think you can also show that E passes through B and the midpoint here. You can actually show that. But I'm not going to do that because uh, it's, it's like too many other things to do. To, like you need to show all, if you want, you can show all the medians actually intersect at E. You can do that, okay? So you use the same same process. You can actually show, you you, you can show that, um, let's say if this is M and P, right? You can actually find out what is um, the line LP, LPB. Then the OE will satisfy uh, this line equation so then you can show that this all the medians actually intersect at the same point yeah you can do that but i'm not going to do that part there because i think uh, just using two will be enough i uh, don't think that exam will ask you to show even if they they do they require you to show that all all intersect at e here they will ask you to do it at, by parts now the first part there. 